So the site's working pretty well. I uh, thought there was an opportunity, though, to look into something that might be a little bit, um, shows another feature that's available automatically because this is built on top of Laravel. So if we go to one of our posts and everything works well here, but let's say somewhere along the line, somebody like uh, types it in wrong or somehow copies a link incorrectly or changes it accidentally uh, for whatever reason, these things happen, right? So if they come to that link that's incorrect, they're gonna get a 404 page or an error page right now. Uh, so we would prefer to give them a 404 uh, and maybe show them, you know, something that could be helpful to them. So right now, this is like, so Laravel already kind of provides a way to handle that. That's pretty easy. And I'm going to recommend that we go ahead and go with that. Uh, there's other ways you could do it. You could uh, bind it somehow. I forget how to do that off the top of my head right now. There's a way you can tell Laravel how to, what it needs to do in order to handle a 404 like page. Uh, but by default, if we just go into our code, so let's jump in there and we come into the views directory and right now it doesn't exist. Uh, but if we actually came in and just created a new folder called errors, and then we're trying to, uh, replace a, the 404 view. So if we just name it 404.blade.php and we were to come back to, uh, this view and reload nothing's going to change as I guess we would kind of expect. Uh, and I think that's because right now the way we coded our controller or at least our post model, we're not really failing. So right now we're just returning null because we can't find that post by that slug. So we actually need to go update our post model to throw an error if it can't find the, um, the post by the slug. So we just need to update this first to a first or fail. And I think then if this gets, uh, the incorrect slug gets passed, then it's gonna change what it returns because now it's failing as opposed to just returning null. Uh, so right now we added our custom 404 page and we're getting back, back I think the browser's taking over cause there's literally no content being returned. So we're just getting back the browser like, hey, something went wrong just so that it's not a completely white screen, I guess. So if we came back to the one we created and said, you know, this is our custom 404, and then try to go that page. All right, so now we're getting our custom one that we were just added. So that's pretty cool in itself. Um, but we, let's go ahead and style this and, you know, we can make it look a little bit better for people or visitors that come to our site and might accidentally go to the wrong um, URL. So we can simply just extend our layout that we created. Uh, and then I think we're gonna need to add basically two sections. So it's gonna be header, and then there's gonna be one for the content, just like we did in the other pages. Now that I'm just kind of spiking this, so you might do more style or you might choose different things to put in your um, in your 404 page, but you know, it's up to you. So I just wanna copy this from the, to get that nice header image that we have on most of our pages. So we're gonna go ahead and start there. We're gonna have to, we don't have posts on this page, so we're going to have to change that up. So we need to add like our own little title here. And maybe something saying uh, we don't really care about this. So we'll just get rid of it. And then we need to upgrade the, this uh, path to the image so that we get some sort of image back. All right, so I'm just gonna add an image and let's see what we get back from that now. All right, so uh, that'll work. I mean, that basically could be like a very basic, um, you know, 404 page. It's just kind of a little bit more than say, saying, whoops, uh, or something went wrong. So at least it's got, you know, some links can get people back to their, like some like normal page and tells and alerts them that, you know, something is not working. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show in this one. In the next um, like video, I'll hop into another feature that may you may not know is uh, available in Voyager. I uh, got to dig a little bit to find it, but it's pretty cool. So uh, come back and check that out.